Hi, I'm Kevin Johnson with FNH. We're a certified SBX Flow Service and Repair Center. Today, I'll be demonstrating the proper way to disassemble, inspect, and change the product seals on a Waukesha Universal 2 PD pump. Let's look at the tools required to perform this work, then we'll get started. First thing we're going to cover is the disassembly of the wet end of the Universal 2 PD pump. Use our 7 8 end wrench, remove cover nuts, no torque setting. Once your cover nuts are removed, you can remove the cover. Set the cover aside on a rubber mat or something soft, product side up. You're going to inspect your rotor tips, make sure there's no damage. Look for the timing of the rotors, make sure they're not contacting one another. Next, we will remove the rotor nuts. These are an acorn style nut with a Belleville washer, torqued to 250 foot pounds. You're going to want to use your impact wrench and the correct size socket. Remove your rotor nut, inspect your Belleville washer, make sure the cup side is down and you can rock the washer back and forth. If it is cracked, replace. Once your jam nuts are removed, you can remove the rotors, slide them straight off the shaft, catch your key, Inspect your rotor for damage, wing tips, and inside the hub. Set in the cover. Move the key if they stay on the shaft, set aside. Now we're going to break loose our body retaining bolts, quarter inch T handle Allen wrench, and remove the body. Remove the body by rocking back and forth. Slide straight off the dowel pins. Inspect your body, o-ring grooves for corrosion, signs of damage, product wear. Inspect all your seal components, remove them one at a time, and inspect your shafts. Inspect your shafts for corrosion in the O-ring area, where the rotor seats. Also inspect your keyway for damage. Make sure and reapply any anti-seize to any threads. Once your product seals are removed, the shafts have been inspected, we can move on to the gear case assembly inspection. Now we're going to go over the gear case assembly inspection. First thing you're going to want to do, check your timing gears for side play. Rotate your shaft left and right if you hear side play, timing gears need replaced. Also inspect your oil seals, look for any leakage, replace if necessary. On this side of the pump, you have two blue cleanout plugs. Remove the bottom cleanout plug, inspect for water or any debris. If you find any, remove with a paper towel, reinstall your plug. Every 750 hours, the pump needs an oil change and re-grease. Drain through the bottom oil plug, refill your oil to the top of the sight glass. Grease certs on the opposite side. Take one squirt of grease every 750 hours per bearing. Back plate of your gear case, you have an oil seal. Inspect for leakage, replace if necessary. That concludes the gear case assembly inspection for the U2 PD pump.
Our first option for the U2 seal assembly is the single mechanical seal. Let's look at what that takes. Got a shaft O-ring and one shaft O-ring groove. Install the O-ring with lubricant. Get your rotating seal. Two flats on the back side. Match the two flats on your shaft. Align those. Install the seal. Rotate back and forth. Make sure you're seated. Stationary seal has one O-ring groove, one O-ring. Install with lubricant. Also has a wave spring. Install the wave spring. Set inside your body. Install. Check for seal movement. Install your body. Tighten your body retaining bolts. And that concludes the assembly of a single mechanical seal. Your second option for a U2 seal is the double mechanical seal with flush. Shaft O-ring, one O-ring groom on the shaft. We'll install with lubricant. Install your rotating seal. Two flats on the back side of the seal should align with the two flats on the shaft. Align and install. Rotate the seal back and forth. Make sure you're seated. Inside your body, you have your inner seal with one O-ring groove. Install the O-ring with lubricant. Install your wave spring. Install into the body. Check for spring movement. You have an outer seal as well. One O-ring groove. Install your O-ring with lubricant. One wave spring. Install in the body. Install the seal. Check for spring movement. Install the body onto the gear case. Once your body is installed, tighten your body retaining bolts. And this concludes the double mechanical seal configuration on a U2 PD pump. Once the product seals are installed, body is tight, both body retaining bolts. Install your rotor keys on top and bottom shaft. We're gonna install and torque the rotors. Make sure your O-ring is seated. Align your rotor keyway with the top side of your shaft. Install your rotor. Same with the bottom. Inspect your O-ring. Align your shaft pin. Once your rotors are seated, you're gonna install your jam nut. Make sure your Belleville washer has a ping. Your inner and outer O-ring are seated. Install with anti-seize. We use a Bostic PTFE food grade anti-seize. Once your jam nuts are hand tight, you wanna use your rotor blocking tool and a torque wrench set to 250 foot pounds or whatever the manual specifies for the model of pump you're working on. Install your rotor blocking tool. Begin to torque. Uh, move your rotor blocking tool to the other wing. Begin to torque. Once your rotors are torqued, check, make sure your rotors spin freely. Install your cover, cover nuts. And this will conclude the torquing of the rotor and the reassembly on a Waukesha Universal 2 PD pump.
We hope you enjoyed this pump training video. Additional videos and other helpful resources can be found on our website. Once again, I'm Kevin with FNH. Thank you for watching.